Hello. If you were to paint a picture of the nasty wintry blast we've had over the last few days, you'd probably paint something with fangs, teeth, probably pimples on its face. An ugly looking thing, but at least we've caged it. It is easing away much better. Seems like this for the course of the weekend. Overall, for many of us, as we slowly ease away what has been quite an intense uh, polar blast. The lumpy cloud here, that was the core of the meat of the cold air that was allowing the snow showers to fall all the way to near sea level in places. Still a few to the east coast. You can see one little flat a bit there. That's the last remnant of those more persistent showers that'll be easing through in the next few hours clearer slots west one bit of flatter stable cloud that always marks where the areas of high pressure are there's our high other lumps of cloud another little blast of sorts going to australia that frontal system several days away we get the high and we push away all of the cold mean and ugly stuff. Notice the leftover showers though, just to the east coast. They're going to die away for the night, still be around Gisborne or so to eastern spots. A new trough feeds into the east coast, but already our snow level has come up, so not much of an issue. It's just more reinforcing some persistent showers by the end of the day. High for many other areas. There are those fronts out west several days away with more of a northerly feed after the high eases through. So there are the showers just flicking their way along, dying out overnight. New trough comes into the picture. Everywhere else, after quite a severe frost over the north end, your day is fine. Just a little bit of patchy cloud, maybe around Taranaki. To the south end. Cold, severe frost, a little bit more cloud through the day to parts of Fjordan, but everywhere else your day is fine, another blue sky sort of day, fine for your outdoor plans, but of course in many spots, bear in mind if you're in the car early, there could be just the bits of some snow melt, a little bit of black ice and a few areas, particularly maybe even northern and eastern parts of the uh, uh, North Island. Here's the far south. Invercargill, fine. Many spots fine after your bone-chilling start. Severe frost to many, many areas. The west coast looks pretty good. Just a bit more cloud might ease its way into Fiordland, but take your pick. After a frosty start, your day is fine and dry. East coast as well. Lightish winds after quite a chilly start. Minus 5 for Ashburton, getting all the way up to 7, maybe 10. That's it, but at least with the blue sky feeling that bit better. You'll have just uh, one or two bits of clouds just flicking their way into uh, some western areas. Otherwise fine. Notice those showers there on the east coast. You'll be picking those up uh, through the course of the day. Dying back to many areas. Gisborne does keep a few. Napier is looking fine. Remember, later on we'll bring in more cloud with that trough and that could bring in a few of those showers into evening areas. Uh, but I think much of the the central plateau is looking pretty good after your frosty start as well. Get up to about 9 to even 13 for Fakatani. To our northern areas, we're looking fine as well after a chilly, chilly start even for here. Looking at 11 to 13 and broadly similar, but a much quieter day down south. This is how Dunedin shapes up. You're going to get to 9, but at least when the winds go light, you're looking pretty good and fine for your outdoor plans or maybe just sort of catching your breath and saying, ah, oh, nice sunny day. Same in Christchurch too. You're looking good after that frosty start. 9 is your finishing number. And Wellington and those nagging southerly showers, well, they're easing back. You're just going to catch the odd one tomorrow. It's the evening when that next trough brings in a few for you. Your day is OK otherwise, and 9 is your finishing number. Heading to Hamilton, minus 2 is where you're going to start. 11 is where you finished. Your day is looking good. It is fine, and the same for Doronga as well. Very pleasant, 13 at least with winds going lighter. Auckland, your day looks better, and when the winds drop away, at least it feels nicer. 12 is the finishing number. We are getting there after a chilly, chilly start. Heading to Australia or rather, excuse me, no, I've changed my maps around, but our weather looks fine over the course of the next couple of days. If you are going to Australia, by the way, they're getting a bit of a cold blast to southeastern areas. We keep a few showers here to some eastern areas just to clear away for Sunday. The high keeps us fine. Going into the course of Monday, what's going to change? The high is still with us. It's getting blocked, so it's slow moving. We just get a few flicky showers to the far north. The beginnings of that blue, that's the next weather system with the flow around the high, just starts bringing a few odd showers to the far northwest West Coast starts to see it Tuesday. That, of course, then brings in the milder flow. So we start to see the numbers creeping up Monday and Tuesday after being in the basement for the last several days. And I'll tell you what, let me give you a quick peek at Australia. Fine out west, looking good, but there's your little storm of sorts moving into some southeastern areas. So raincoats if you are heading to Australia. And, of course, going towards the Pacific Islands, looking good. Cooks the odd shower. And Vanuatu, 29. Very nice. Maybe you're thinking already after the week we've had. Now think of the poor ducks down south with the frozen lakes trying to do a waddle on that with uh, flat feet. But, of course, They'll do the same thing tomorrow, but maybe they've learned after today, of course, with the frozen bone shedding night tonight, but at least you've got some fine-looking weather by day. Ice skating ducks, I'd love to see that. Yeah. <laughs>